Hi, this is Rafiq Suleiman, and you are watching Cloud Simplified. Hi, everyone, and welcome to another lesson from the Cloud Practitioner Express. And in this new series, we'll be explaining a major topic that we have on AWS, and this is AWS Storage. And let's start with the first type of storage, and this is what we call AWS Block Storage. To start with the block storage, you can imagine the block storage as this is your EC2 instance, and this is like the hard disk that is attached into your EC2 instance. And usually block storage, this is for the most demanding, high performing workloads and mission critical applications like SAP, like Oracle and like Microsoft. And here we have two types of services or two options of services that we can deploy. So the first service, it's called instance store. And the second service, it's called EBS, which stands for Elastic Block Store. So what's the difference between these two? For instance store, you can imagine it more of a cached storage. It's a non-persistent storage, which means if I have stored my data, every time I stop my instance or every time I reload my instance, all the data is going to be released. So you might think, what can be the use case for the instance store? Actually, instance store is offering the best performance when it comes to storage IOPS. So I can use instance store where I need cached data or where I have, for example, something like HPC or something like big data where I have a certain job and during this job, I need a very fast and performing storage. And once the job is done, I don't need the data anymore. And that's the perfect use case for instance store. But for example, where do I store my operating system? Where I can store data that I would like it to persist. And here comes the EBS or the elastic block store. So the EBS is like the hard disk attached to your EC2 instance. This is, for example, where you can store your operating system because the data inside the EBS is persistent. If I stopped my EC2 instance, if I reloaded my EC2 instance, the data remains. And that's the first type of storage, which we call it the block storage. That's great. Now let's see what are the characteristics of the EC2 instance store. So first of all, as we explained, instance store provides temporary block level storage for your instance. So as we mentioned, if you stop the instance or if you terminated the instance, very simply, your data is lost. So for instance store, instance store, and that's why that's the fastest type of storage that we have, because this is located on the disks that are physically attached to the host where I have this EC2 instance. And that's why that's the fastest type of storage that we can have on AWS. And finally, as we explained, instance store is ideal for temporary storage. It's for information that will change frequently, such as if I have buffers, if I have caches, if I have some scratch data, for example, and as we mentioned, it's the perfect use case for any temporary content. And that's to summarize the instance store. What about the second type, which is what we called the EBS or the Elastic Block Store? So as we explained in the video, in the Elastic Block Store, this is for the kind of data that I wanted to persist. For example, it's for my operating system. Of course, I want every time I stop the instance and reload it, I want to find my operating system. It's for the kind of databases. For example, I want my transactions to remain on my storage and that's exactly is the EBS. So the EBS provides durable block level storage volumes that you can attach to your running instance and then you can use your EBS as your primary storage and that's why this is where you can put the operating system of your EC2 instance and finally EBS is the recommended storage option for example when you run something like a database. Definitely, 
I want my transactions to remain even if I stopped the instance. And with this, we have terminated the first lesson talking about storage, talking about the first type of storage, and that is the block storage. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next lesson.